maison de ma vie. Uh, no, I'm going to read in French. 
and I'm going to ask for somebody to help me read in English. So, um, it's the parable of the ten virgins. Can somebody, disons, est-ce que quelqu'un peut se disposer juste uh, en lisant la version anglaise? We're going to read the NIV version. Can you help us read? You just read the whole. Okay. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like the virgin in the earth, who took their lamp and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The poor ones took their lamp but did not take any oil with them. The wise, the wise one, however, took oil in jar along with the lamp. The bridegroom was a long time in coming. And they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out. Here, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and turned and trimmed the lamp. The foolish ones say to the wise, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. No, they replied. There may not be enough for both of us. And you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on the way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgin who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the others also came. Lo, lo, they say, open the door for us. But he replied, Truly I tell you. I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. Thank you, brother. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it in French. Uh, C'est uh, la parabole des dix vierges. Alors le royaume des cieux sera semblable à dix vierges qui, ayant pris leur lampe, allèrent à la rencontre de l'époux. Cinq d'entre elles étaient folles et cinq sages. Les folles, en prenant leur lampe, ne prirent point d'huile avec elles. Mais les sages prirent avec leur lampe de l'huile dans des vases. Comme les poux tardaient, toutes s'assoupirent et s'endormirent. Au milieu de la nuit, on cria, « Voici les poux aller à sa rencontre. » Alors toutes ces vierges se réveillèrent et préparèrent leurs lampes. Les folles dirent aux sages, « Donnez-nous de votre huile, car nos lampes s'éteignent. » Les sages répondirent, « Non, il n'y en aura pas assez pour nous et pour vous. Allez plutôt chez ceux qui en vendent et achetez-en pour vous. » Pendant qu'elles allaient en acheter, l'époux arriva. Celles qui étaient prêtes entrèrent avec lui dans la salle des noces et la porte fut fermée. Plus tard, les autres vierges vinrent et dirent, « Seigneur, Seigneur, ouvre-nous » Mais il répondit, « Je vous le dis en vérité, je ne vous connais pas. Veillez donc, puisque vous ne savez ni le jour, ni l'heure. » Amen. Amen, 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 Amen. So the theme I have for us today is, « Are you ready? »« Are you ready? » Apostle Gauthier is not with us. Today, he uh, is on a trip for three weeks. He's not going to be here with us. We're going to have special guests next Sunday and the following Sunday. Today is me. And uh, I thank the privilege that he has given. But Apostle Gautier, three Sundays ago, so we, it's, it's like a serial. We started by God is calling you. And then the second was, where are you? And the third was, you are chosen. And today, I didn't talk to him. He let me prepare the message. And I received from the Lord, are you ready? Are you ready? Do you have everything straight? Is your heart straight with the Lord? Are your mother straight? 
Are you always rushing, rushing, rushing and putting off things and saying, okay, I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to arrange with my family tomorrow. I'm going to arrange with my kids tomorrow. I'm going to arrange uh, my life, straighten it tomorrow. Uh, I, I don't want to live a holy life today. I want to wait. I want to grow up. Some people will say, okay, I want to grow up and then uh, I'll live a holy life. I'm too young to live a holy life now. No. This parable is a parable that Jesus gave us. And it starts by the kingdom. All the time that Jesus spent on the earth was to talk to us about the kingdom. The beginning says, Alors le royaume des cieux sera semblable à dix vierges. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins. So we are talking about the kingdom. The kingdom is real. It's not just like a story that you have to hear. It's from another time and it concerns other people. But the kingdom is real because it concerns us now. Because we don't know the time. We don't know the hour. We don't know. Jesus himself is insisting in that. He's giving us the parable. So those five foolish and then those five wise women, they were together. They were together. They had lamps. They were together. They were walking together. They were sleeping together. But some of them were ready and some of them were not. And that's what we're going to see today. We're going to make sure that we are ready. We are ready emotionally. We are ready spiritually. We are ready in everything that we do. We have to be ready because you never know. You never know. You never know. Just like coronavirus started, nobody knew. Who knew that from one day to the next day, everything would be shut down. I remember where I used to work, we had a very, very strong like FBA, I'll say security people, because it was an organization that was very high, um, I'll say watched. So we had, uh, like, advisors were coming directly from the FBI, directly. So it was like, uh, you have to do this. So we were following everything close. And when things were coming, they said, okay, uh, it looks like they're going to shut it down in two weeks. So that's what the FBI was saying. It looks like they're going to shut it down in two weeks. But the next day, the person in charge of security said, no, they changed. They're not going to shut it down in two weeks. They said they're going to shut it down next Monday. And then the next day, they said, no, they said they're not going to shut it down uh, next Monday. They shut it down today, which was a Thursday. So everything was shut down in just one day. So with the Lord, it's the same. You don't know. You don't know. Maybe those people that are thinking, oh, they're going to do it in two weeks. You know, they were trying to get ready and say, okay, I'm going to do this. And then I'll have two weeks to prepare my things. People didn't have time. So you had to be ready. People that didn't have VPNs, people that didn't know how to work, networking, uh, going online. It was hard for them. I don't know if you remember that time. Mais pour les gens qui n'avaient pas des moyens, disons, qui n'étaient pas sur le net, c'était vraiment difficile. Pour les églises qui n'avaient pas encore euh, le streaming, comme on dit, online, c'était difficile. Pour les bureaux qui n'avaient pas le moyen de travailler à partir de la maison, c'était difficile. Parce que tout s'est arrêté en un jour. Ceux qui étaient prêts, étaient prêts. Ils sont rentrés à la maison dès le lendemain. On était sur nos ordinateurs, on a commencé à travailler, on communiquait. Mais ceux qui n'étaient pas prêts, ils ont dû attendre. Ils ont dû attendre peut-être une semaine, deux semaines, trois semaines, jusqu'à ce que on pouvait envoyer un technicien pour aller régler. Et puis maintenant, les gens pouvaient travailler. Donc, c'est ça la parabole des dix vierges. La parabole des dix vierges, c'est de continuer à faire attention. Nous allons, disons, je vais juste lire Matthieu 24, 42 qui en français, il nous dit « Veuillez donc, puisque vous ne savez pas quel jour votre Seigneur viendra. » And in English it says, Matthew 24, 42, « Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. » So in order to be ready, what do we need? 
The Bible in this parable tells us we need the oil. But what is the oil? Some may think that the oil can be the Holy Spirit, but me, I don't believe it. I believe that in this context, the oil means maybe energy or fuel or gas. Because if we read verse 8, uh, Matthew 24 verse 8, if we read it, it says Matthew 25 verse 8. Um, so the foolish one said to the wise, give us some of your own, our lamps are going out. But in the nine, they said, no, they replied, there may not be enough for both of us. And you instead go to those who sell all and buy some for yourselves. So I don't believe that you can go somewhere else and buy the Holy Spirit. So I believe the thing that you can find somewhere else is not the Holy Spirit, but it's just maybe another type of energy, another type of fuel, another type of diesel, something that's going to keep you going. So what people are doing now, the energy that they need, they go find it in other maybe religions or maybe other gods or maybe things that attract them, that uh, gives them energy just to go on. Some people is just, uh, oh, I like to be a giver. That's his energy. Some people, I like to... Um, I don't know. I like to do yoga. That's his energy. When I do yoga, I feel uh, peaceful. I feel this. I feel that. So that's his energy. This one said, oh, I, I like to go worship this way, but he doesn't worship the true God. So that's the energy. So the energy that the Lord has given us. So I don't think it was the Holy Spirit in that context. I think it was just that gas or that fuel and for me is the energy that Christ has given us if we read if we go to Colossians 1 29 uh, verse 9 we can go to Colossians 1 29 verse 9 uh, Colossians 1 29 to this end, and I have the NIV version, to this end, I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. So, to the end, I'm uh, strenuously content with all of the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. And that's the NIV version. The Louis II version in French uh, dit « C'est à quoi je travaille en combattant avec sa force qui agit puissamment en moi. » But the version that I like is the message version. It says « That's what I'm working so hard a day after day, year after year, doing my best with the energy God so generously gives me. » So in order to be ready like those uh, virgins, they needed to have that energy. Some of them had it, and they had plenty of energy because they had it not only in their own, but they also carried a jar, and the jar was full of it. But the other one just had a little bit in their, uh, like, uh, in, their own, their, in their containers. They only had a little bit, and they didn't have no jaws being with them. Yeah, in their lamps, they only had a little bit. So, the question I have for us to, today or now is how do you build that strength of energy? Because it looks like if you don't have it, you won't be able to make it to heaven. You won't be able to meet uh, the spouse. You won't be able to be with the bride uh, groom. So for me, I have three ingredients today that I would like to share for your lamp to be full, not only of energy, but for you also to have it as a reserve. Donc j'aimerais partager trois ingrédients ce matin afin que notre lampe ne puisse ni s'éteindre et qu'on puisse avoir le surplus. 
et euh, ces ingrédients que j'ai pour nous ce matin, pour l'énergie que Dieu nous donne, pour la force et la puissance que Dieu nous donne, c'est le premier ingrédient que j'ai, c'est l'amour. Et nous aurons le temps de décortiquer. Le deuxième, c'est euh, la puissance. Nous aurons le temps de décortiquer. Et la troisième, c'est la présence de Dieu. So those three ingredients, sorry, because I'm going from French to English, because I don't have an interpret. Uh, so those three ingredients that gonna help us, like, go until the end and be ready to meet our bridegroom, it's love, it's power, and it's God's presence. Juste pour le louer, pour le célébrer dans cette journée spéciale, cette journée spéciale qu'il a prévue pour nous, cette journée spéciale, nous savons qu'il est au rendez-vous, il est au rendez-vous.
service for you. Thank you, Al Shaddai.